big, deep-breasted Gaia, we give you honor and we give you praise. Mountain Mother, you who feed all who go upon the goodly earth, who fly the paths of the sea or who fly above it, we give you honor and we give you praise. Support us this day as you do all days and uphold this right. From earth we are born and to earth we shall return. Ignite your spark within us that we may know ourselves to be truly human, truly holy, and truly part of the web of life. Hail the mother of all the gods, wife of the starry heavens, earth mother, our mother, Gaia, accept our offering. Gaia, accept our offering. comes forth for inspiration. You do, Jan. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Children of the Earth call out to the sweet-voiced Muses Nine. Calliope, you of the epic poetry. Cleo, of history. Arato of erotic poetry, Terpsichor of dance, Melpune, tragedy and Thalia of comedy, to Euterpe, lyric poetry and prophecy, to Arania of astronomy, and to Polyhymnia, you who sing your hymns through us as we praise the gods. To the sweet voice muses nine, we make offerings now that you speak through us, that you honey our words, that you silver our tongues. Muses nine, accept our offering. Muses nine, accept our offering. Purpose? Why are we here? <laughs> Why are we here? Uh, obviously, we are here in community today. We are here to celebrate Midsummer, And today, we are here to honor Apollo and Athena, which is a unique coupling. <laughs> uh, the reason they were chosen, Apollo, of course, is illumination. He is the leader of the muses. He is the god who protects the young men. He is the one that will bring the joy and the festivities within us today. And his temple had the words, know thyself. And every time we join as a community, every time we stand in celebration of the gods, together or alone, we are closer to knowing our true selves. We are also honoring Athene today, for she is the keeper of the polis, of the city. And that also fits in with community festival and why it was originally founded. So together, we are honoring the wisdom of Athena, the joy of Apollo, and the fellowship and wisdom of community. And that is why we're here on the longest day. As we prepare to make our <laughs> offerings of joy and reverence. And bounciness. And bounciness. Because <laughs> apparently Greeks bounce. Yes. <laughs> Show of Earth, I ask you, once again, Turn your mind's eye in. Relax. Let yourself be drawn evenly to the earth. Your shoulders relax. Your hands relax. Your legs relax. Breathe in that breeze that flows through these trees. As you breathe, see there in your mind's eye that strong tap root that reaches from the soles of your feet, that springs down, seeking the level of the waters through soil and rock and clay, 
down into the earth to that place where the waters do flow. Feel that root as it breaks through, as it soaks up that water and draws it up, cool, calming, bounty of the earth. Feel it as it flows into your feet. And as you breathe, draw it up into your knees, into your loins, into your heart, down your shoulders and arms, into your head, and breathe once more and allow it to fountain out your head to flow between your fingertips and to return once again to the earth, connecting all. Feel those waters as they flow through you and know that you are connected to the power of the earth. Breathe deep again and turn your mind's eye to the heavens. See there, deep within the turning wheel of the sky, that star that shines for you alone, that point that guides you, that warmth that you draw. And see that star shine out and down upon you. Its warmth touching the crown of your head, its warmth touching your shoulders and arms, its warmth illuminating your heart, its warmth touching your loins, your knees, your feet, warming the earth on which you stand. Within you now, are these two powers of heaven and earth, the warmth from above that orders the chaos, coolness from below and gives blessing to us. Feel them now as they merge and mingle within you. Everywhere the light touches the waters, they grow bright like sun on the waters. Raise your hands to the heavens feel them glow. So you stand now as the world tree at the center, drawing those waters up, synthesizing the light from above. And this in our hands is the holy stuff of magic. Reach out now, hold the hands or touch the person beside you, And as you do so, feel those waters as they flow from one to the other. For we now stand as one light, one depth, one united and sacred grove. The waters support and surround us, the land extends about us, the sky stretches out above us, and our center burns a living flame. May all the kindreds bless us. May our worship be true, may our actions be just, may our love be pure. Blessings, honor, and worship to the Holy Ones. So be it. So be it. Now attuned to this space, let us sing the gates <coughs> to the center. By fire and by water.
Midwest. Is it the will of the folk to hear the voices of the gods today? It is. Is it the will of the folk to be in touch with their ancestors today? It is. Is it the will of the folk to feel the joy and wildness of the nature spirits around them in this place? It is. And let us open the gates. And let us call upon a very special gatekeeper to do this. Because as we desire these many things, we must call upon the mother of desire herself. And with this desire, let us begin with a very special offering of lavender and love. Blessed upon the wind. Picture her before you with huge golden wings spread out sunlight beaming across them, radiant, many hues, a thousand hues, all the colors and all shades of gray and black and blue and red and every attitude and reflecting every community that we see gathered here in the Calm Fest where we do our ritual in this space. Iris, the goddess who walks upon rainbows, who walks between the worlds, delivering messages from gods to gods, gods to men, walks between the worlds into the other world and has the water which only the gods may take their oaths upon. Let us call upon Iris, the goddess of the storm foot, the goddess of the clouds, born of the wondrous one, and the Amber, Electra. Gatekeeper, we call upon you. And I make one more offering, a shiny offering for a God that shines with radiance and spreads bridges across the land, connecting communities like Confest connects communities here. Iris, gatekeeper. Merge your powers with mine and accept this offering. All right. All right. Accept this offering. Now let us open the gates. Imagine before you that the air begins to change. No longer is it translucent and clear, but is the colors of all the rainbow. A hundred hues of red, blacks, blues, purples, yellows, greens shine from the heavens, shining down upon the pillar, shining before the peak of Mount Olympus. But this mountain, the symbol of our mount that reaches to the heavens, opened as a pathway to the gate, to the other world. And let this well, symbol the well of the worlds which leads below to the world of Hades where our ancestors wait to offer their wisdom. And let this fire be as the fire that opens a gate where all our offerings and all our blessings may be sent to all the mighty kindreds. Iris, merge your powers within mine let these gates form before our community. Let the gates be open! Let the gates be open! Children of Earth, the gates are open. These gates now open. All our thoughts are clear to the kindreds. Our actions are seen by them and known. Our hearts and our love felt by them. <coughs> so, in this space, may there be nothing but truth upon our lips. May there be nothing but right action done by our hands. May there be nothing but love felt for one another and for the kindreds. Let us call to those kindreds now, beginning with the ends.
children of the earth call out to the old ones, our ancestors. Hear us, mighty and honored dead, and be with us on our path. We call to you of heart and hearth, those of love and of the land. We call to our kith and kin, those of culture and customs. We call to those of blood and battle, those of life and liberty. We call to those heroes of sacrifice and service. And we call to the ancient wise of thought and memory, to all those who have gone before and walked the path in their time that we may do so in ours. Life flows from life, life flows from death, and our lives flow from yours. with gratitude for blessings received and in love of the All Mother, Gaia, we ask you to join in our magic. Meet us at the boundaries. Join us at the sacred heart and be warmed by our good fire. Guide us and aid us as we walk the elder ways. Ancestors, accept our sacrifice. Ancestors, accept our sacrifice. Children of Earth, See in your mind's eye now these ancestors gathering around us, hearing our call. With the ancestors now present, let us call to the spirits of nature. Again, children of Earth, in your mind's eye, see these spirits of nature as they turn their ears and eyes to us, strange eyes on the edge of the circle, but welcome here. With the ancestors and the spirits of nature gathered, let us call to the Shining Ones. Shining Ones, we, the children of the Earth, call out to you. We call out to those on high that move the sun across the sky and control the seasons. We call out to those of this realm that manage the cycles of nature that, that lessen our impact upon the earth. We call out to the Catholic ones, those that now welcome our ancestors that will in turn welcome us. We also call out to those that have names have been lost to history. May you be welcomed here. May you join us at our good fire. May you add your magic to ours in this rite. May you aid us and guide us as we walk the elder ways. Shining ones, accept our offering. Shining, Shining ones, accept our offering. Now, show of Earth. In your mind's eye, see those deities as they step forth from the mists that surround us. <coughs> those that you know, those of all who gather here, those who guide us and walk with us. And with the ancestors and the nature spirits and the deities gathered here, have the folk brought praise for them. We have. The children of earth, I ask that you bring it forth and offer it unto them. There's extra silver here. There's extra grain here. Please don't be shy. And lavender here. That can be used. We don't have an order to this, so if you'd like yeah. to make an offer, you'd like to make it.
the further praise to be brought to uh, all the Kendrick. All the business cards are there. And we call out now and we ask that all the kindred okay. turn their ears and eyes and join us in worshiping right, the deities of this rock. Tritogenea, terrible awakener of the din of battle, chieftainess of armies, goddess of battle strategy, goddess of wisdom, we honor you. Holder of the Gorgon shield, teach us to shield ourselves from our foes. Mistress of many skills, teach us to have the vision for creating great works. You who bested the weaver, you who won the patronage of Athens, you who learned the art of war games from the mighty river god Triton. You whose cloaked encounters have guided the journeys of many peoples. We give you thanks and praise. Meet us at the Boundaries Palace in gold and glory. Aid us in wisdom and guide us in action as we walk the elder ways. Helias Athene, accept our offering. Helias Athene, accept our offering. Oh, which way do we look? Day, not only as leader of the muses bringing joy, harmony, creativity, and inspiration, but we call you as illuminator so that we can know ourselves. Apollo, walk with us today and always, leading us in creativity, leading us in personal knowledge, and illuminating our souls. Apollo, we honor you. Apollo, we honor you. Chairman of Earth, see now these two deities as they step forth from the crowd of spirits to stand here with us. Have the folk brought praise for Apollo and Athena? We have. And bring it forth.
So of Earth, is there further praise to be brought for these deities? Then we have made good offerings. Children of Earth, from the center where we stand, let us call out once more. Hollow Athena, we have made to you good offerings this day. Offerings of our love, offerings of our hope and joy. Apollo and Athena, accept our sacrifice. Apollo and Athena, accept our sacrifice. Having called out now to them, see her, take our own. Children of the earth call out and ask, have our offerings been accepted? that was not brought before. Epsilon, fertility, desire, yes, our further offerings have been accepted. <laughs> Don't leave stuff on the altar. <laughs> <laughs> Empty it all out. Now the children of earth call out. And they ask, what blessings do the kindreds offer us as a community as a whole? Kai, succeeding, you will fill, fulfill the golden oracle. They have offered us a path to follow, the steps to take, and the wisdom to take the right steps and the correct steps down that path to further ourselves as a community and to further build ourselves as a people. Now the children of the earth call out, what further needs do the kindreds ask of us? Row, to wait, to be patient, to understand that sometimes our answers don't come immediately, and that sometimes we may not get what we seek at first, but if we wait a short time, we will find that we have all we need. 
children of earth, Epsilon, Chi, and Rho, taken together, the kindreds ask that we take our desire to build up each other, that we take our desire to come together as a community, and we have the wisdom and the patience to take the steps on that path so that together we can succeed. These are good omens. Children of Earth, we have given and we have received. Is it your will to accept these omens? It is. Let us accept these omens into the waters of life. See before you the cauldron of rebirth, the fires of our piety sacred tree within and in front of us. See before you the ancestors, the nature spirits, and the kindred, the shining ones as they gather about us. See before you Athena and Apollo as they stand in their glory. Know that these are good omens of community, of knowing the right path, having the wisdom to know that all things do not come quickly, to hold each other up, to comfort each other, to grow a real community. These are the omens. See now the mist of magic as they swirl about us. See now on these waters. See now in the chaotic waters below magic well up. See them as they come to this one spot. To this. The waters of life. See them in your mind's eye as they gather here with good intent. See them now as they sparkle and glow with the colors of the rainbow that Amber talked about. The blues and the reds and the greens. See them now as we separate these waters out to make them holy, to make them sacred. See the waters, see the blessings, community, right action and sure foot on the path See now the wisdom and patience of the oak. Children of Earth. See these waters of life. In your mind's eye now, think of your matrons and patrons, your animal allies, your ancestors, and in one voice, sing out, Give us the waters! 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 Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. We have a song. May the power of the kindred be shown to me. May the omens and the blessings be shown to me. May the blessings in the waters fill my soul. May the wisdom of the kindred make me whole. May the power of the kindred be shown to me. May the omens and the blessings be shown to me. May the blessings in the waters fill my soul. 
think of that sacred drop of water. Think of its mighty power. Like the barren desert seeks the water, so do we. Let it mingle and mix with your own natural oils and seep into your body. Know that you are blessed with these omens. Let that small ripple reach out and ripple into your community and into your world. And do good work with these omens. Before us, we have a small healing stone, a piece of waver. We take these waters of life that have been blessed. We plunge this stone into the cauldron of rebirth, into the cauldron of magic. We consecrate this stone as a healing stone. We warm this stone with the fires of our piety, with that good fire that we pray to. We hold now this sacred stone with the blessings of the kindred. And in one voice we sing out to Apollo and Athena. A nice little Apollo and Athena chant over and over. And if you are so willing to give yourself and some of those blessings that you have received back to this stone so that the person that we give this stone to will get those blessings, will get the medicine, of Athena, that the doctors will have the illumination of Apollo, and that all good things will come to the well, of, to the wearer of this stone. Children of Earth, will you join me now? Well, yeah. Yeah. Apollo, Athena. done good work. We have honored the gods, the spirits of nature, the ancestors, Apollo and Athena. We have blessed a stone for healing. We have put all of the offerings in the right place. <laughs> These things now done, let us thank all those that we have called to gather here beginning with the patrons of this rank. Wise Athena, glorious Apollo, we thank you for your wisdom, illumination, and love. Thank you for joining us today. Apollo, Athena, we thank you. Apollo, Athena, we thank you. Dave. Paul, he's on the other side of the tree, he can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Shining ones, deities, we, we thank you for putting the words in our mouths for the past two days, for those personal deities, for the moment, for the readings that we've been giving the, with the folk this weekend, and for those that we gave today. We thank you for the energy that you've provided in this rite, and the energy in the healing stones. Shining ones, Deities, we thank you. Deities, we thank you. Nature spirits, for joining us here, we thank you. Nature spirits, we thank you. Mighty and honored dead for joining us here today and in great gratitude for the legacy that you left.
for us to live and bring forward to those who come after. Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. To all the powers that have here aided us, we call out and we say, we thank you. We thank you. Goddess of sea and sky, who draws the waters of the seas to replenish the clouds, with the waters that will cleanse us and replenish the land again, and cleanse us and fill us with the blessings of the waters again, as we are filled with the blessings of the gods in this rite. Iris, we thank you. Iris, we thank you. Thank you. Now let the mountain, the symbol that touches the sky, be as a simple pillar once again. And the well that sunk to the depths of the realm of Hades be but just water again. And the flame which we gathered around to seek blessings and send forth blessings to the gods be but just playing again. Let the gates be closed! Let, Let the, the gates, gates be closed! The gates are closed. Let's thank the Earth Mother. Yeah, uh, sure. This is what we just do. The inspiration personified this. <laughs> to the sweet voice Muses 9! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we call out to you and for honey in our words and sweetening our voices and silvering our tongues, Muses 9, we thank you. Muses 9, we thank you. Now the earth. Well founded earth, deep crested Gaia, mountain mother, know that all that is unused of these our offerings shall be returned to you. Supporting this right in our lives, we say, Gaia, we thank you. Gaia, we thank you. Yes, dear. Hestia, goddess of the hearth, that your flame may burn out here. May we take its heat and its warmth and gather around it at our own hearths so that we may always have you burning within us. Hestia, first and last we honor you, and we say, we thank you. Hestia, Hestia. we thank you. Children of Earth, once again, we have done good work today. I charge you all now to go in peace and blessings, for this rite is ended. Walk with wisdom.